Deployment story. Pre-deployment training is a thing in and of itself. I can't remember if it was one of my Afghanistan deployments or my Iraq deployments. I can't remember, but I know the pre-deployment training was intense. We did a lot of field training. And I know Army people probably looking at this like, oh man, you Air Force, you ain't really do too much. It's not for y'all, y'all stay out of this. All type of scenarios. Nighttime combat, it was wet too, it was raining. We had to defend our camp. So all we hear is like gunfire. All I hear is boom. It's going crazy. We got to, you know, of course we have to figure out how to assemble properly. Morphin time. It was raining. It was wet. Mud puddles everywhere. Like it was crazy. It was chaos. It was crazy chaos. I'm just running around. We had to put our gas masks on. Did I mention it was raining? Gas mask in the rain. Now you gotta try to figure out where the enemy is and where they're where they're running around and it's dark. I hop out, I start shooting. Bow, 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 shot his ass. Bow, 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 bow. They run out the door. I couldn't see a thing. My gas mask was fogging up. Whoever catches it, catches it. Hopefully, I hit the all the odd four by jumping and running and tumbling in the mud. It was fun, like just that aspect of it. I felt like a little kid. But the most fun part about that pre deployment training, I, I deployed more times than I wanted to. I was disgruntled a little bit on the inside. Like I felt away on the inside. I was mad I was there. Word to the wise your attitude makes a huge difference in your experience. So write that down, take a picture of it, put it in your pocket. If you don't want to be in a certain training, if you don't want to be in a certain situation, alter your attitude, find a way to dig deep and just try to find ways to enjoy yourself. Thanks to the cadres, they uh, they kind of helped me because we did an exercise where somebody had to be an insider threat. And they picked me. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. They ain't know what they was doing when they picked me. They picked me to be the insider threat. Oh, you motherfuckers. I already had an attitude, so a bad attitude. Like, my attitude was a little disgruntled. They picked the right one. I want to low-key, like, low-key, I want to be an actor. You know what I'm saying? I want to be an actor. I can, you know. So I got to put my acting skills to play. I got to, you know, have an attitude. Go and walk away, because I'm going to burn this motherfucker down. King Kong ain't got shit on me! That I had for real, but people didn't know it was for real. They thought it was fake, but it was kind of fake, but it was real too. Like, it was real, but it was fake, but it wasn't real fake. I had to kind of like, start showing signs and symptoms of of an insider threat. Like, oh, what a day. <laughs> what a motherfucking day. So people had to try to figure out what was wrong with me before I snapped. Oh, I worked my ass off. I mean, I got a master's degree in business and there I was his secretary, his office manager, and his computer. So I got the snap. It was so funny. It was funny because people thought I was really an asshole. I was, I was just acting. I was acting, y'all. But at the same time, I was not acting. I was sitting on the back of the, um, on the truck, riding on the back of the truck. If y'all know, y'all know. We ride on the back of the truck. And I'm sitting there, <sighs> stoic, right? I laugh and I joke a lot, but like at this time, and I'm surprised nobody caught it. Somebody would say something. I'd be like, hey man, why don't y'all just be quiet? And y'all talking too much. Nobody want to be here. They ain't know I really didn't want to be there. When we got off the truck or whatever, I'm walking around, I'm catching little attitudes with people. I'm saying little slick stuff. Getting little mini arguments with people. Lonely tune, huh? Mark. Look at this nigga, man. He tried to take my liquor. And cuz, you tried to take my bike. Oh, oh, oh. It was so fun. Somebody finally figured out that I was the inside of threat. Kudos to them. But they ain't know I really had an attitude. But shout out to the cadre that, uh, that selected me to play that role. Pre-deployment training, all of that stuff can be fun, but it's all about what you make it. So it's all about the right attitude, trying to flip it and kind of 
even though even though you may not want to be there, figure out reasons to make it fun and make yourself want to be there. That's one of the biggest lessons that I learned while I've been in the military. Yeah, I know somebody's deploying. I know somebody's at the pre-deployment training they don't want to be at. It's all about what you make it. Find a way to make it fun. Find a way to entertain yourself. Find a way to make it worthwhile. And you'll be fine. I'm winning anyway. I'm winning. I'm winning any motherfucking way. I can't lose.